is three games into the season with some of the most important games uh, coming up the next few weeks? I'm proud of us so far. You know, of course, there's been a lot of adversity, um, a lot of good, a lot of bad, but you know, we're three games in. I'm proud of the way that we've improved every week. Um, we still have a long way to go, of course, but you know, we're just looking forward to the next game, which is Wake Forest, and we're just focused on them. So, but I think we've done great so far for three games, and we're just we're striving to get better. Obviously, uh, Coach Sweeney was a little miffed at you guys after Furman, but it seemed like you responded to the challenge and played a lot tighter. Uh, last week against Louisiana Tech. Yeah, he um, he did. He got on us last weekend. Um, so we knew that we had to step up. Um, we have to step up every single week, regardless of who the opponent is. So, um, you know, he challenges us every single week. And we just have to, you know, step up to it and just know that, you know, if we play the way that we know how to play, then we're going to we're gonna be dominant. We're going to be relentless and fast. So, you know, we're up for the challenge every single week. Have you had the chance to look at Wake Forest film yet? And if so, how would you? assess their performance so far and also going up against a quarterback like Sam Martin. Yeah, um, I have looked at Wake Forest. You know, they're, it's Wake Forest. They're a good team, uh, well coached. Uh, they have a lot of dudes on offense, a lot of dudes on the whole team, um, especially going against Sam Hartman. He's one of the premier quarterbacks in college football. So you, we're going to have to be on our P's and Q's this week, as we are, as we should be every week. But especially facing an opponent like this with a quarterback uh, such as Sam Hartman, we're going to have to be on our A game. So. Uh, I think we're ready for the challenge, and uh, we're going to show it this Saturday. Barry, what can you guys do to help Brian proceed right now? You know, this the situation that he's in. There's not really much you can do, but we're doing all that we can. We're, um, of course, we're sending him all the texts and stuff, but like. You know, that's not really going to do anything in this situation. But, you know, we're, we're just being brothers to him. We're being the family that, you know, he came here for. You know, you come to Clemson because it's a family environment. So, you know, he's, we're, we're, we're leaning on him. He's leaning on us heavy, heavily. So we're just um, trying to be the best brothers and best women that we can. So we're just we're emphasizing that we have his back through everything, and especially through a hard time such as this. But, you know, the, the whole family that we have their back. Yeah, I tell Peyton, not every day, but I tell him a lot. He looks skinny. And, you know, when I first saw him, I, of course, I came in the summer last year. He's a whole different man. And, you know, he, however much he weighs now, he looks great for that. And I know that he's performing better. He's moving much better. So, you know, it's, it's night and day the way that he came in and the way that, you know, you see him now. So I'm proud of Peyton, the way that he's cleaned up his eating, his diet. And um, he works so much harder now. He's just grown and matured as a man. I think I've been through his left or right. He's talking about like the salad bars one direction. Mm -hmm. stuff, yep. Stuff he's got to stay on, stay towards the salad bar. <laughs> Uh, don't worry about what, what the what the what they've made fresh. Just stay toward, stay stay with the salad bar. Would you guys get on him about that? I mean, I wouldn't personally. I know our nutritionist probably did, but you know, I'm sure they emphasize that a lot with him. But I think I think he's in a good spot right now. He can make his way towards back to to the regular food. Yeah. Right, that's got to say a lot about the dependability that you can count on this guy to to help the team because. You know, you all have the same goals. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we're all relying on each other. Uh, we're all leaning on each other. And we all we all trust each other, too. So, um, yeah, definitely. When you have that factor within a team, it's going gonna, it's gonna to elevate us to the highest level. So, definitely, you know, we all just trust each other. And we trust that we're all going to do the right things. Um, and that's in all areas of life. That's nutrition. That's recovery. That's in the classroom, on the field. And so, just all areas. Barrett, the first three games of the season, where would you say you've improved the most? Oof. Where would I say I've improved the most? Um, I wouldn't say a specific part of my game, but I would say my leadership. I think I'm stepping up a lot as a leader, and that's what they wanted out of me, so I think I'm really stepping into that role. Um, but, yeah, I would just say as a leader, I'm being more vocal, um, leading by example on and off the field, but definitely as a leader, for sure. It's going to take me <laughs> yeah, so Peyton got a great block. Um, 
I'm very mad about that play. Uh, I thought once the ball just kind of landed in my hand. So I thought, OK, no one's going to know that I have the ball, so I'm just going to walk into the end zone, even though I was like 60, 70 yards away. But you know, I, I made a couple moves, and I got hit, and I just fumbled. I was like, oh, I'm like, dang. But I really thought it was going to just be an easy touchdown for me. I thought, I thought nobody knew I had the ball. So I'm I'm really mad about that. I gotta get I gotta get some payback. So I'll, I'll be getting in the end zone before the year ends out for sure. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty mad about that play. Anything on Zoom for Barrett? Anything else in here? All right. Thank you, Barrett. Thank you.